This is Matthew Harrington with Dell Technologies. I'm going to go over installing Dell Command Endpoint Configure for Microsoft Intune that now requires the Net 8 runtime. I'm not going to redo the video that I previously did, but you can see it here on my screen. This particular video shows you how to actually use the tool, how to create BIOS settings and how to set the random BIOS password and retrieve it if desired. But as you can see, the older version needed net 6.0 runtime. The latest version requires net 8.0 runtime. This is version 2.0.0.6 of <clears throat> the Dell command endpoint configure for Microsoft Intune. Since it needs 8.0, if your machine doesn't have it, I'm going to show you how to bundle it all together. So what you need is you need DCE CMI. You need that particular runtime. If you install DCE CMI and you do not have this particular runtime, and you push out a CCTK file to the system, you actually get an error. You click on the error, and it brings you to the download page for this particular installer, which I thought was kind of nice. But this file is what is going to install this and that. And where do you get this file? It's right here on my GitHub page. So you can see my address and then the highlighted file that you download. What does this file actually do? It does the standard logging function. I use the my invocations to always find the working path. It doesn't matter where it is because Intune does use random folders based off the GUID. This will always find it. We have the EXE we're going to run, we have the command line switches, we're going to call for it, and we create a log file, and then here is the Dell tool, right? The first thing you have to do is you have to find out if you already have the 8.x runtime, and this command <clears throat> will actually find it. If you run that, that's everything that I currently have installed. So if I ran this script on this particular system, it's not going to reinstall it because you can see the final line right here, it's already installed. So the .NET is an actual native command that you could run. So then what we do is we just check to see if it's there. And you can see we're matching Microsoft Windows Desktop App 8013, and that's the bottom line right there. So if it's there, we don't need to do anything. Else we need to install it, and there is, the command to install it. And we use the argument list, the net eight arguments, which is right there. So it will create a log folder or log file in that particular folder. Once we've completed that section, then we're going to check to see if the DCE CMI is already installed. And if not, we'll install it. And then we install it and we create a log file. That's pretty much it. It's really straightforward. So I've already bundled this. I created, again, if you remember, <clears throat> you run that exe right there. It will ask you for the source. So you point it to the source folder and what is in our source folder, but everything that we're going to need, right? Here's the runtime. Here's the Dell utility. That will be the script that we actually call. So first it's going to ask you for the source, then what do I run, and then what is the output folder. And if we come to our output folder, we have our Intune Win package right there. You then come up to Intune, Apps, All Apps. I'm not going to recreate it, but you say create a Windows app Win32, and here it is right here. If I click on this, you can see that it's already been deployed. I pushed it out to a Latitude laptop and it worked. And if we come to properties, you can see 
here are your install and uninstall commands right there. That's how you want to actually run this. So you can take a screenshot of that. And then you just push it out. Here's the group that I pushed it to. And like I said, I pushed it out and it worked. So it's pretty straightforward. You know that you need Net Framework 8. This is how you could actually push out both at once and then have your system set up so they could start receiving CCTK files to make BIOS changes or to randomly set the BIOS password. Hopefully this video was useful. Thank you.